Hi students, welcome to exercise 22, solving exponential equations. Okay, so um, in solving exponential equations, anytime you solve um, an equation with uh, when the exponent is the variable, um, the only way we can do this without a calculator is to change both bases to the same value. So for example, in here, we have a 2 as a base, so we'd like to change the 32 as a base, uh, as a base of 2. And we can do that quite easily. So what we have is 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 2 to the power of 5, because 32 is 2 to the power of 5. And then, since they have the same base, right, we have base of 2, base of 2, we could put an equal signs between our exponents, because if they both base of 2, the exponents have to be equal for this to be true. So we have x plus 1 equals to 5. And then we simply solve, bring the 1 over, you have x equals to 4. Okay, fairly simple. <clears throat> Next example, we have base of 3 here to the power of 4x minus 1 and base of 27 to the power of 2x. So what we have to do is change the 27 to a base of 3. Okay, again, fairly easy to do. So 4 to the power of, sorry, 3 to the power of 4x minus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 3, all that to the power of 2x. Okay, so now you've got a little bit of exponent laws to uh, come back into play here. You have 3 times 2x, so you have 3 to the power of 4x minus 1. So I should put my equal sign in the middle here. Equals to 3 to the power of 6x. Okay, so now again we have the same base on each side, so we can now put an equal sign between our two exponents. So 4x minus 1 must equal to 6x. I bring the 4x over here, so minus 4x. So you have minus 1 equals to 2x divided by 2. You have minus a half equals to x. All right, solved. Okay, C. <clears throat> so C, in this question, we're asking 3 to the power of x times 27 equals to 81 to the power of 2x plus 1. So a big note here, you cannot multiply the bases. So you cannot multiply those two things together to give you 81 to the power of x. An, an example of that, just choosing some numbers, 2 to the power of 3 times 3 does not give us 6 to the power of 3. So you cannot, you cannot combine those bases. However, we could change all those numbers. So, sorry, we're going to go back to here. We could change the 3, the 27, and the 81 to a power of 3. So we have 3 to the power of x. So that's the first bracket. I can change the 27 to 3 to the power of 3. And then the 81 is 3 to the power of 4, all to the power of 2x plus 1. Okay, well here, this is multiplying two bases with the same uh, base. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the exponents together. So you have 3 to the power of 3x, sorry, x plus 3. And here, we multiply the exponents together to get 3 to the power of 8x plus 4. And be careful, a lot of people will make the mistake of doing 2x times 4 and 8x and forgetting about the 1. It's 2x plus 1 times 4, so there's distribution property here. Okay, and now we've, we've had the same base on both sides, so we can put in equal signs between our exponents, so x plus 3 equals to 8x plus 4. And we solve for x. So I'm going to bring the x over here, and I'm going to bring the 4 over there. So you get negative 1 equals to 7x. So move down, give myself a little bit of space, and you get negative one seventh equals to x. Okay. Okay. So one more example here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this three to the top. Okay. So we want everything to be on our numerator. So by doing that, what's going to happen is I'm going to change the sign. And just for an example, off the side here, if I had one over two to the power of negative three. This would be equal to 2 to the power of 3. So you bring it up top, it changes the sign. So I'm going to change the left-hand side here to 3 to the power of negative x minus 1. And the 84, 81, I'm going to change it to a base of 3, 3 to the power of 4. Okay, so again, I have a base 3 on both sides, so I can make the exponents equal to each other. At the same time, I'm going to distribute that negative. So notice that it's going to give you negative x plus 1 equals to 4. So I'm going to bring the 1 over, so you have negative x equals to 3, and x equals to negative 3. Okay, so now, what if I asked you to solve these equations graphically? Well, let's, let's look at this equation here, a little bit different. So I have 5 equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2. 
So I'm going to solve this equation graphically. So I'm going to sketch two graphs. First graph I'm going to sketch is y equals to 5. So this is going back to what we did at the beginning of the, of the year. And the other graph I'm going to sketch is the y equals to 3x minus, minus 1, 2. Okay, so that's the two equations on the sketch. y equals 5, well that one's easy. That's just a, a horizontal line at y equals 5, right? So there's our horizontal line. So I'm going to call this y1. Okay, and now the other one, just transformations on our 3 to the power of x function. So you got to keep in mind, these are our two basis points, so 0, 1 for every exponential function. And because the base is 3, we have 1, 3. Okay, so what are we going to do to those points? We're going to move them 1 to the left, sorry, 1 to the right, and then 2 up. So this point is, this point over here goes 1 to the right, 2 up, and this point over here goes 1 to the right, 2 up. So here, I'll put this graph in red, we have this graph. Notice the asymptote also moved up one, two, and here's our graph. Missed it by a little bit, but I think you get the idea. So notice that these two graphs cross at x equals two. So the solution to this problem would be x equals two. Now we can actually also solve this algebraically. And in our case, well, notice we can't change the base to 3 on each side because there's a 5, there's a 2 here. But we can move the 2 to the other side in first step. So you have 3 equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. So now the exponents can be equal because the bases are the same. So we can say that the exponent 1 is equal to x minus 1. So don't forget there's an exponent 1 here, right? And that's where that comes from. You bring the 2 over and you have x equals to 2. And that's notice is the same value as we found on the last page. Okay, good luck with this lesson, students, and we'll see each other in class.